G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going again with my waterfall pour with um, to try and get like a cloudy kind of a wing effect. The last one I did with satin enamels. This time I'm going to use the folk art milk paint. I've still got quite a lot of bottles of this so I need to use it up. So I will try that. Um, I'm using Floetrol and the Floetrol has been mixed equal parts of Floetrol to two parts of this white to one part of that. So uh, 40 grams of Artist Loft white, 20 grams of milk paint, that's 60 grams to 60 grams of Floetrol. Now the other colours, all the shades of blue are the Montmartre Studio Acrylics and they are mixed two parts Floetrol to one part paint because they're a thicker paint. This one's a bit thin but <laughs> they're a thicker paint. Okay, let's get started. We'll put some navy in the bottom. I'm going to make bigger layers this time so that we can see the colour and more white. Hopefully that will work a bit better. Don't need white between every layer. I'm just going to put it next to the navy. I might put some between these two as well. Just to see what happens. I'm just playing today to see what happens. And that should be enough for one more layer. been so long since I've used milk paint you know to do cloud pours and the satin enamel to do cloud pours I've kind of forgotten what I need to do with them mm, I think that's probably enough of the, the white all right let's leave it like that I'm gonna put a bit of a less of an incline on it this time last time I used the big container this time I'm gonna use a slightly shorter one so just so that the paint doesn't flow too fast and we'll run down the end before I'm finished with it so I'm going to start up here and I'm going to pour from the area that I laid all right let's go hopefully it's not too thin we'll try for one spot here and just keep the paint in the one spot. So I've omitted the black this time. If you saw the last one, you'll see that I left the black out. I just didn't like it. It was too dark and it was too gray and it just didn't work. So I'll do it this way and then the next one I think I'll I'll hold the cup in the opposite direction. Oh it's a lot of white. Come on Navy, where are you? I did put a lot of white in, didn't I? In that first little puddle that I made. Now I'm gonna get a bit closer as I'm getting lower on paint. Okay, that'll do. All right, take out the little container. That's a lot of white in the middle. Uh, let me give it a torch. Yes, it'll be interesting to see how it comes out differently if I hold the cup this way or whether I stand here and hold the cup this way. So I'll do another one afterwards and hold the cup this way just so that you can see the different effect that happens. Did I get all the bubbles? No, there's still a couple in the middle. Okay, well that's looking very cloud-like, isn't it? There's still a lot of white there. I'll probably have to tip some of that off. All right, okay, so I'm going to go off to the the corners. I'll do the top first I think. Bring the paint up the top here. 
and go off to the, the corner. I should put a little bit of white here. Over my scraped black. Hopefully it won't go too grey. Just in case I need to keep white corners. Whoa, there's my grey. Try not to get too much grey. Okay, there's a little bit left of the white just in case I need it. Let's get to tilting, see what happens. A little bit of white there. For now, anyway, we shall see what happens. I might change my mind later. <laughs> Oh, I'm all my blues going and I'm going to end up with a big white centre, aren't I? Not having very much luck with these pores today, I must say. Let's get some of that white off. It's just way too much there. And I don't like those white corners at the top either, so let's take them away. We have a pretty flowy, cloudy kind of a painting, don't we? Just going to take a bit more of that white off the bottom. Okay. down and give it a torch see if anything else wants to come up and play just wipe my hands big cute little cells happening up here I'm not sure what's going on there but they're pretty cute going on up here though that's amazing I wonder what would happen if I did a ring pour into a puddle of white hmm that might be interesting hey okay well I might just leave it for five minutes and see if anything happens uh, and then uh, come back to you but I don't think a lot more is going to happen I think that's going to be Pretty much it. Kind of just a, a cloudy, sort of a cloudy painting, basically, which is kind of what I was after. I had no idea what was going to happen. But I do like how the white has definitely gone thick and puffy and cloudy. I do like that. But I just used a bit much. So, try again. All right, I'll wait five minutes and I'll come back to you. I just waited a few minutes I made up some more white I'm keen to do the next one so I'm not going to wait any longer but we've got some cute little cells happening here they've grown a little bit so I really really like that watery flowy look really pretty and up there too I 
So I'm going to go again and I'm going to pour the other way, like I said, and we'll see what happens. And then I might even do a ring pour into a puddle of white. Let's see what we get for that one. All right, so keep watching and we'll keep experimenting and see what happens. So hit that little notification bell so that you can be notified every time I put out a new video. I'll use a little bit less white in my layers next time just so I don't get that big white center. But it's it's actually quite pretty though, isn't it? I mean, just because it wasn't what I was expecting, it's still really pretty. It's got that like navy going through it. So it's got that little look of starting at the dark end there and going down lighter and lighter. So yeah, quite happy with that. So let's go again. I'll uh, see you real soon for the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.